Hi guys. Well, here we are. It is an exciting Christmas Eve 2023. Yes, Christmas Eve. Sunday, December 24th, 2023. So the shockingly, me and the little dog are hanging out at Doomsday Trailer. I am literally all joking is this is not a joke. What I am doing tonight on Christmas Eve by myself is I am waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> that is no joke. That is my life on Christmas Eve sitting alone in an old trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida by myself drinking uh, my Christmas margarita waiting for paint to dry so I know over in Austin Texas my uh, you know all of my clueless lovable friends they wanted me to come home for Christmas this year where there is one of the biggest hoot nanny throw down picking parties of the year just beginning to crank up in Austin, Texas uh, while I sit around alone waiting for for paints to dry. But now last night, 24 hours ago, I am thrilled to report that I was actually on stage at some honky-tonk roadside bar uh, between Dunellen and Inglis, Florida playing harmonica with the, what was the name of our band? Morally, Morally Flexible was the name of the band for the night. This was a couple of my old buddies who I used to play music with right here in Denali 25 years ago. <laughs> Have not played with this band in 25 years and he lives right down the street. I could, I could hit him with the rock so, you know, reuniting with old friends, he called me today and, you know, just let me know how good it was to have me back. And then uh, there's a big New Year's Eve shindig. They wanted to make sure that I'm going to show up at this big-ass pick-and-party throwdown on New Year's Eve. And uh, so here I am. So things are improving on that front. And, you know, I, I have no idea if my buddy and morally flexible is a Trump tart or not. There, there's two for now. I know one of the dudes is not a Trump tart, but I honestly don't know about my neighbor. Uh, like uh, every other one of my neighbors. So while I'm waiting for my paint to dry and for my buzz to kick in. So this is, th this is how I started my Christmas Eve today before I launched back into the Cedar Slabs from Hell project that did get their first coat of varnish and will be getting their second coat in two hours. Uh, so before I launched into all that, you know, to the little dog and I, we get on the gator, which is up and running again. Thank God I, I got my gator up and running. So we went down to the dock for our morning coffee. So you know the dock is beginning to be my little social, uh, my little social intercourse hangout. So when I go to this dock a block and a half from here, you know, I am literally on the edge of the trailer trash line. I am the last trailer on the trailer trash line. And there's that little curtain of trees. And right on the other side, you know, is this line of these millionaire mansions. And uh, so I'm, I'm slowly beginning to know the regulars, both the rich guys living here in the uh, in, in their little riverfront mansions, literally 300 feet from where I am sitting right now, 300 feet from this trailer 
there, there are these beautiful riverfront mansions. Uh, so I'm beginning to know some of those guys and I'm beginning little by little to meet my, you know, my trailer trash friends on this side of the line. So like every day, I, I come through the woods and I bump right into one of my rich buddies, uh, you know, wearing his bright red Trump hat. Got his, he always puts on his brand new shiny Trump hat before he walks his dog. He has an old beagle uh, that he walks about 10 times. Like every time I go out, the guy's out walking his beagle. And as far as I can tell, this dude, he's probably 10 years older than me. Uh, I, I've never seen more than one car parked out in front of his mansion. Uh, I have never seen him in the company of a woman, uh, grown children, grandchildren, whatever. As far as I know, this, this dude, 300 feet from me in his fucking, I don't know, 6,000 square foot mansion on the river, is living there by himself with his old dog. And uh, his, his, you know, his social interaction is walking the dog, talking to uh, everybody, uh, you, you know, that he meets along the way. So we had a, you know, a brief little chat about, uh, you know, the 75 degree uh, Christmas Eve and whatnot. So <clears throat> I leave him. And you know, I get back in my gator, go around the corner, and I, and I get to the dock. And let's see, first, there's this guy about, I don't know how old this man is, uh, probably a few years older than me. We always wave at each other. He is sitting there. He pretty much lives just sitting in his pickup truck, it is big, beautiful, monster, cherry red uh, monster truck. The guy just sits there for hours. He doesn't get out of the truck. He sits there at the truck. He waves at people. So, so I have no idea which one of the mansions he lives in. But apparently he must be trying to get away from uh, from his wife or something, cause he pretty much spends his life sitting in his truck. So like we do every day, we wave and say hello. And uh, then I get to the dock. There's one uh, trailer trash, kind of over on the side. Looks like he's hitting a meth pipe. He kind of acknowledges me and I wave at him thinking, good God, he's out here smoking meth at fucking uh, 8.30 in the morning on Christmas Eve. And then out on the dock is this other trailer trash. Probably both of the other trailer trash, they're probably in their mid-30s. So there's this rough looking guy out fishing by himself on the dock. And guess what he's wearing? He is wearing his Donald Trump hat. It is, uh, I, I, I guess it's the great unifier. It, it's the great unifier between the, the, the old man and the uh, millionaire's mansions and the young trailer trash. You know, the, the, the one thing that everyone can agree on is, is that you should put on your Donald Trump hat before heading out. So. I've got Trumpsters in the mansions, I've got Trumpsters in the trailers. Needless to say, I keep my mouth shut about politics around here. So anyway, so here comes the old rich guy with the dog to talk to his rich buddy in the truck. So I am sitting down by the dock and you know, my beat up old gator with these two young trailer trashes. So the three trailer trash are down here at the dock. The two rich guys are 
you know, up the hill a little bit. And so we're making small talk, me and the guy at the dock. I'm just sitting in the gator because I didn't want to disturb his fishing. So I'm sitting in my gator. And here comes this dude coming down. And, and, and I don't know what he paid for his damn truck, for his monster truck. A good, good fucking God. Uh, so he shows up in his monster truck and, and he is uh, pulling uh, this, uh, you know, this monster bass boat behind his monster truck. And uh, <laughs> so we sit there and watch. You know, he comes away, he gets out of his car. And so there, there, there's me and these other two trailer trash, so the three trailer trash. And so this guy gets out of his car and he's this very attractive, like 50 year old dude, uh, you, you know, obviously in, in his alpha male. Uh, you know, he, he is clearly the alpha male, so there's now six of us there, six men, all, every one of whom arrived alone on a Sunday morning, Christmas Eve, every one of us there alone, uh, trying to make some light conversation, so this guy pulls up in his truck and he, you know that nod that 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 kind of smug superior little kind of nod Merry Christmas gentlemen he, he, he says to the three of us and, and, and we all uh, Merry Christmas you know you fucked hard uh, so he gets out there he's alone the alpha male in, in, in his fucking between the truck and the boat, the fucking boat trailer uh, was worth uh, as, as much as, good God, as much as this trailer, his boat trailer. So he, you know, he makes this big show of, uh, of putting his, his monster boat behind his monster truck on his monster trailer and he gets his boat all launched and stuff. And uh, uh, of course, he, he, he never looks at us again after he said Merry Christmas. So he, he gets in his boat. It had a Mercury 150 was the engine. The Mercury 150 outboard. He turns the key and whoosh, <coughs> takes off. Fucking wake going everywhere, splashing up on the boat dock, fucking up. This guy's fishing. Uh, on the dock and we sit there you know all the fucking birds freaking out flying out you know the sandhill cranes and the fucking herons freaking out flying off from, from that motherfuckers boat and uh, so the, the the boat disappears around the bend uh, of the river and the guy looks at me and uh, he goes Nice boat, <laughs> is what is what he what he said to me. Nice boat, and I said, yeah. I said it's a little bit nicer than my Walmart kayak uh, parked up in my trailer. And and he goes, yeah. And your Walmart kayak is probably uh, nicer for fishing than this dock that I'm standing on. Uh, was his comment, you know, when you meet a man uh, with no shoes, then you meet a man with no feet, kind of along, along that line. So he's sitting there looking at my gator, and he goes, so, he goes, how much you got into the gator, is what he told how much you got into the gator. Meaning, how much did I pay for the gator? And, and I said, actually, my buddy just gave it to me when he traded in to buy his brand new gator. Uh, he was kind enough just to hand me uh, the trade-in. 
And so he, he said that, he said, you know, you must have a nice buddy to give you, to give you that gator. And, and I said, yeah, uh, you know, about how I love my gator and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> so he throws his line back in and then he uh, looks back at me and he goes, I wonder how much that man really paid for that boat. <laughs> I wonder how much that man really paid for that boat. And of course I knew exactly what he was talking about. He, he was not talking about how much fucking money the guy paid for the boat. What he was talking about was the real cost of the boat, you, you know, meaning what did that man have to do to make the money to buy the fucking boat and the monster truck and probably the millionaire mansion, uh, you know, what kind, what kind of shit did he have to eat? Uh, what kind of compromises did he have to make? And uh, I, I, you know, I, I knew exactly what he was talking about because I, I was just having the same, the same conversation with myself when I was talking to that rich dude uh, right around the corner. Uh, you, you know, walking his dog, that lonely old Trump tar walking his dog every day. He, you know, every time I, I, I pass by his mansion on the river, as I say, he's about 10 years older than me. And, you know, telling myself, uh, uh, okay, Hambone, if you had never gone down this fucking Doomer sewer, uh, and, and, you know, and stay the clueless fucking moron with your real estate career in Austin and your beautiful home and all that, you could probably be living in that mansion. I mean, he's technically my next door neighbor. He's the, you know what I'm saying, there, there's, there's, there's no other house between us. So, you know, if, if I had made different choices, I probably could be living in, in, in that uh, in, in that fucking mansion instead of this uh, instead of this old trailer, and you know so I, I, I'm, I'm looking at all six of us. So there's now well no I'm, no, I'm sorry. Well, one of you know Mr. Alpha Male. He's, he's in his fucking monster boat and gone. So it's, uh, you know, gone alone, uh, not even with a dog, totally by himself disappearing. So there's f the five of us. So I'm sitting in the gator. On this side of me, there are these two, you know, call them 30-something uh, trailer trash. On this side of me, there are these two, uh, you know, wealthy, I don't know whether they're millionaire, probably are, you know, a few years older than me, uh, with, with their mansions in their big, beautiful, cherry red, goddamn monster trucks, probably cost 85000 fucking dollars, and, 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 um, and, and I'm just sitting there in the gator drinking my coffee on Christmas Eve, Sunday morning. You know, and, and, and figuring, look, are, are any of these men happy? Uh, all five of us, six of us counting the guy in the boat, all six of us are, uh, are, are sitting, you know, we're, we're alone. It's fucking Christmas Eve, Sunday morning. Uh, we're, we're down here at the at, at the end of the damn road. Uh, no woman uh, between the six of us. Uh, there were two dogs, I guess. Uh, and, and, and I'm just thinking, 
who's happier? The, the fucking dude uh, with his Trump hat out there fishing off the dock uh, because he can't afford a Walmart kayak? Or, uh, or, or is it the two guys uh, jawing uh, up the hill, you know, in the monster truck? I mean, as far as I can tell, nobody looked happy. There, there was just this, uh, I, I was just reading some article in, the, in medium.com about an hour ago about what was this woman saying in and, 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 and medium about the, this just this this per, pervasive sense of what was her word that was it acceptance maybe it was it wasn't acceptance I'm just thought this per, pervasive sense of just you know just this dreary uh, I wish I could remember the word she used because it was the perfect word. This uh, this pervasive sense of uh, just basically we're so fucked and we don't know it yet with our goddamn little Trump hats on. Uh, you know, down down here we were, all six of us. Uh, drawn down to this absolutely beautiful uh, little piece of paradise out in nature. I mean, so at least made, uh, even the Trump tards, uh, which was probably every one of them, I I'm guessing all five of those guys were going to vote for Donald Trump. And uh, just thinking... <laughs> you know, from one to six is the is the guy in the monster boat, the uh, the fifty year old, you know, swaggering alpha male is 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 is, is the you know the silverback gorilla uh, of the group of uh, the six of us is he happy? Uh, with his life and his fucking monster truck and his monster boat. Who the fuck knows? But, uh, I mean, I wonder what all, I wonder what every one of those men are doing right now. Every one of those dudes. It's 8.30 on a Sunday night, Christmas Eve. I, 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 I wonder how many of them are, are having family get-togethers tomorrow. You know what I'm saying. How many of those men are, are, are going to be sitting alone either in their goddamn riverfront mansions or in their single-wide trailers sitting there alone on Christmas with their thumb up their ass? But it, at least I, I do have a lunch date for... Uh, Christmas tomorrow, my, my pile of fish girlfriend is uh, making her first trip up to Doomsday Trailer, but she has to leave by 5 o'clock because she has another date at 6 o'clock tomorrow. She's, she has a date right now. Where she is right now, th this woman is on a date right now. Then she's going to be up here having lunch with me tomorrow. And then she's racing out of here to meet a third man, unless she's just meeting the same man tomorrow at 6 that she's with tonight. And she'd already told me that we had a date for Christmas. And so uh, I, I got relegated to lunch. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess this woman is hot property. Uh, I, I, I guess any woman with a BMI less than 42 in Citrus County, Florida is hot property on Christmas. But anyway, that is my life on Christmas Eve. 
So let me go check. Let's go check on see how my paint is drying. All right. How does your paint dry? I do not believe the hell on these boards. All right. They are coming along. These are going to be my the new uh, a lot of these will be the new countertop for the community kitchen. One of them up in Blue Dragon. This is going to be part of the the new door for Hummingbird House. Uh, so these are those $50 slabs that I now have I think uh, $170 in each one of these I think I finally on the last on the last phase but, uh, these will be finished tomorrow one coat tonight the third coat tomorrow so this is my Christmas present to myself uh, get out there and uh, enjoy uh, giving Christmas presents to yourself. Well, you still can. Merry Christmas! Bye, guys.